Allergen cross-contamination is the big risk for people with food allergies, food intolerances, and celiac disease. Gluten is very difficult to control in a kitchen. Just open a bag of flour and you can see why. Gluten also ends up in a whole range of foods, sometimes where you'd least expect it, such as chips or ice cream, as a result of modern food processing techniques and requirements. Thankfully, if it is an ingredient, then this should be evident on the label. And if there is a risk of it being present, then a food product might have a may contain gluten statement on it. So what are the do's and don'ts of reducing the level of gluten in food? Frying. For fried foods such as chips, crumbed fish or onion rings, have a separate fryer dedicated to gluten-free foods or deep clean the fryer before preparing gluten-free food and use fresh oil. Baking. For gluten-free cakes, breads, sandwiches and handling of their components, do all the gluten-free preparation first, including the final packaging. Keep all gluten-free products separate. Toasting. Use a designated toaster for gluten-free products or use toaster bags. Utensils. Use clean utensils and avoid double dipping. Best to have a separate set of utensils for gluten-free food preparation. Boiling and steaming. This process is generally safe for celiacs. Do not boil gluten-free pasta or other gluten-containing food straight after normal pasta without first thoroughly cleaning the saucepan and changing the water. It's essential to use a clean saucepan. Education. Ensure all staff are allergy aware and fully understand the dangers from cross-contamination. They should also understand the business's legal responsibility to provide accurate information. Preparation area. Have a designated preparation area for gluten-free food. Ensure it cannot get contaminated with flour dust from other areas. If a designated preparation area is not available, then always thoroughly clean down a work surface before preparing gluten-free food. Storage. Store all gluten-free alternatives such as sauces, drink powders, cakes, etc. in sealed labelled containers.